What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today we are in Saitama for my last full day here in Japan. I head back home tomorrow afternoon. And I got a lot of work to do back at home, but there's one final event that I have to go to. It's the same event I went to last year, the channel Kohonda Meet. It's kind of like a, I guess you can say like a tiny Eibach meet here in Japan. It's very like USDM themed Hondas and uh, Acuras, I guess. You can, I mean, you can call them Acuras if you want, but they're still Hondas to me. But um, there's some US imported cars here. There's some very specifically themed cars to emulate the style back at home. It's always a good meet, some good quality stuff. Unfortunately, like most Japanese events, they have the music blasting. So I can't really record much inside right now. Hopefully by the time the event ends, towards the end, we'll be able to get some footage inside where all the premier cars, I guess you can say, are. But I'm gonna walk the parking lot because there's some good stuff out here too. There's always good stuff in this parking lot. Of course, the sickest thing here in the parking lot is this Daihatsu van thing. It's, uh, just kidding. There's a, there's a bunch of cars here. There's a ZP3, some T37Vs. I see this FD2 on Twitter and Instagram a lot. Super nice car, front staggered T37 Sagas. That's a Mugen wing too. Oh, what kind of exhaust is that? Yeah, I love the way FT2s look out here. It's crazy that a couple of guys out here actually do the FA5 conversion and make their FT2 look like the Civics we have back at home. Which is bizarre to me, but I'm sure they feel the same way when they see FA5s over there converted to FT2s. You get some EKs that are pretty raw out here. This one in particular has spoon wheels on it. This W388. It's a little beat up. You can tell that the guy drives the living hell out of it. And it has this little duct right here. Intake duct. Nice and low. Carbon fiber hood. Ooh, a spoon hood? Spoon mirrors too? The section is nicely color coordinated. Every other car is yellow. And then the cars are either white or silver. I don't know if they planned it this way or it's all coincidental. But Makes for a nice little parking lot display. And spoon themed EK right here. Got a full cage too. I saw this car last year here. Pretty nice. Zenki EK. It's the EK9 Type R. Some Rega Masters on here. Running the black and purple stickers. Rare sight. He also has a original Chronicle sticker. True OG. Oh, the spoon themed Akoki EK9. Oh, look at that. Got some gauges in here. Oh, you can't see anything, sorry. Whoa, thing slammed. The FT2 and Rigamasters. It's pretty aggressive. This is 18s. Yeah, 18 inch Ankies, NTO 3s. Carbon hood. Here we can front lip. Here we can grill. That's beefy. This is a CL7. Big supporter. You got a Chronicles license plate frame and some stickers inside. <laughs> Cloudy day, sorry you can't see. But nice, simple setup. Type of setup you'd see at home. Inky RPF ones on a white CL7, CL9. This Izuzu Gemini built on an EK chassis. Essentially the same front end as a Domani here, but this one was sold here as a Gemini. It has some OZ wheels on it too. Always weird to see these things as Isuzu's because they're very obviously Honda Civics. 
I think um, in Germany or something, in Europe, they had a Rover too, which is also sold as a non-Civic. It's basically like a luxury version of a Civic. Another EK9. You run into a lot of EK9s out here. You kind of like seeing like skylines where after a while you're just like used to seeing them so you don't really look at them. Oh wow, look at this wing. People over here really like importing these things. I see, I see them all the time, actually. A lot of times they're modded this way, too. This looks like it has an HFP kit on it and some SC37Ks. It's got a little hood right here. Some scoops. Oh, wow. This EP3 is pretty aggressive. The vented hood. Um, Anki wheels. Is there a fat spacer on there? A fat ass spacer on there. Mugen front lip, Mugen side skirts? No, those are um, Type R side skirts. Cool. Mugen rear wing. These wheels are a good look on this car. It's been a surprisingly chill day here. Not too sunny. It's uh, surprisingly nice because I was expecting to get burnt here. Leaving? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> One of the guys from level one. Always a nice guy. Just brought his kid out and everything. But yeah, it's been a surprisingly chill day here. It's pretty windy now. Kind of enjoying the weather on my last full day here in Japan. <laughs> Hard at work. Dude's just chilling. I think they charge like 10 bucks for entry here. Cars from Upstart. Oh, this EG right here, super nice. One of my favorites. It's painted the silver color, but he actually has like the anniversary edition side moldings, which are gray, like a light gray silver color. And he actually made the front backyard special lip and the OEM side skirts the same color to kind of match the moldings, which is really cool. The anniversary editions never came in this color, obviously. But it's interesting to see that light hint of contrast. Silver SE37Ks on here too. Paint's pretty nice. Damn, the roof has seen some hail damage, it seems like. This is Recaro Confetti's. Muga SW Steering Wheel 2, I think. Wow, look at all the brochures he has in the back. This man loves his Civic. The SIR, so it probably just has a B16 under. EK9 is one of the nicer cars here. It's really well done. Has a Tacticar front lip. Volk C28 uh, SLs. Looks like Jay's Racing Fenders. Shift Sports? No, Jay's Racing. This B16B. It's all cleaned up. The block is super clean. Has a Tota header on there. Everything looks brand new. I didn't even drive this car here. It's got a nice little bronze tint to it, so it's definitely been turned on and drives. Has a um, individual coil pack conversion, coil over plug. Still has a distributor here though, even though it's capped off now. You have an air box with a snorkel that's been heat wrapped. Still has AC, so he definitely drives this car. All sport mounts. You got the Mugen hardware here, of course. So it has these very limited edition grid seats in yellow. This is like this weird gold yellowish tint. Matches the shift boot and the e-brake. Got a Nardi steering wheel. It's an NSXR horn button. Oh, we got that dead pedal down there. A dual gauge pod in here. Super nice. Yeah, 
Damn. Definitely one of the cleanest cars here. Okay, so I actually got them to lower the music quite a bit. So I got a little bit of time here to show you guys what's inside the event. This is the organizer of the event. We call him Chanoka, but that's not his name. But this is his USDM Integra the GSR. It has a JDM ITR face and this one off front lip. I think the front lip is designed to kind of look like the original Feels front lip. So this car is kind of set up to look like Terry's car from the US. Definitely some inspiration there, but the lip is definitely not a Feels lip. I think he has a Mugen air box from a EP3? EP3? DC5? Something like that. But now he's got a nice air box for his K series setup now. Some really good stuff here that I can finally show you guys. This is Masafumi Eto's Integra Type R that I always show you guys. This is the full Comtech catalog car. A GRZ suspension and everything. And uh, he has the rare Canadian Type R interior, which is super rare. There's only a few hundred of them made, but he was able to get both front seats and rear seats. In the back, he has his JRZ reservoirs mounted to his Type R rear strut bar. Damn, should really not leave this out in the sun too long because it'll start to fade over time, but this car hardly ever gets driven and it rarely goes outside, so it should be fine. Damn. They closed the hood on this inside, but it definitely has a K-series inside. Oh, he's gonna open it. The Anki wheels? So cool. This full K-series setup. Shaped engine bay. Color match the reservoir over here. Yeah, really clean setup. K tune swap header. Very unsuspecting. It's so weird how the steering hub area is so short on these cars. Like, the steering was basically on the dashboard already. But it has two bridge seats in here. Took out the rear seats, you know, for that fuel economy. And we have a K powered insight. The X Point DC5 and Mori's EK9. We pulled this thing out from storage to bring it out here. Miyawaki's EK, sorry. This car is actually my favorite here, the CRX. You can CRX Pro 2. I'm actually running a Link ECU and everything. I was taking pictures of it and uh, engine bay is really set up nicely. It has AP racing brakes, 15 by 8 TEs. It's all gutted inside here too. Inside spray painted gray, or repainted gray, sorry. Some Mugen seats in there too. It's a HKS supercharged S2000. It makes like 300 something. It makes 318 horsepower, PS. The torque curve is a little strange, but I'm sure they could fix that. And Mugen front lip. And carbon side skirts. And a custom GT wing. Hmm. 
Mugen hardtop. This DC2 is a car that you guys saw me post on IG from Weekfest. Has a carbureted setup. Maybe when they leave later, we can finally get an audio clip of how this car sounds, because it probably sounds pretty amazing. The B18C with some FCR carbs. I like how you paint match the tops of them too. Full size radiator. Get a Maxim header. I think it's cool. Spoon lip. Some red seats in here. Full matching interior. Got the floor mats, redid the door panels, and rewrapped the back seats. Uh, next miracle bars in here, I think. Wow, we did this section too. Looks like it's running a Power of C commander to get those carbs to work correctly. Still has VTEC solenoid though. Most of the time when these guys run um, carbureted setups, they eliminate the VTEC and they get a nice big cam in there. But Oh, it's definitely the SS Works kit too. You can see it here. <laughs> SS Works, old school SS Works carb adapter, I guess you can say. But yeah, hopefully you get a audio clip of this thing running later. So cool. And here's this full Mugen FK2 Civic Type R. Car that you hardly ever see anywhere here. I think the owner said that he had to import this car. It's crazy that he was able to find all this Mugen stuff for it. Mugen rear wing. It has a rear bumper, rear diffuser. And I guess he was saying that factory FK2s have dual exhausts. And this one with this rear diffuser set up is a single exhaust now. A bizarre looking car. It kind of looks like a minivan, honestly, but very cool nonetheless. You're moving front bumper. Look at the face. They just blasted the badges right on the front bumper. It's like equivalent of putting like that uh, Mugen RR center cap on the S2000 front bumpers. But they ran out of center caps, so they just used Type R badges. Oh, sorry. The black AP1. <laughs> Desmond Evil Brights. And a backyard special. Front lip, which is my favorite front lip for the S2000. For the AP1, anyway. They make these in two different sizes. So when you order from backyard special, you can order this size, which is the bigger size, or you can get the smaller one. This one is definitely the more aggressive looking one, though, because it's much bigger in size. Pause. Definitely one of the better looking DC2s here. This is a 9497 Integra SI VTEC, I think. It has a sunroof and everything, so I believe it's an SI VTEC model. But yeah, you don't see bug eyes here very often. And this one has a Mugen front lip, Mugen sides. I'm gonna say EC Works mirrors, even though so many companies have used that mirror base, so it's hard to say what it actually is. But it could be Osaka JDM too. I don't know if they made them for the integral, but you can use this mirror basically on everything. I call it the mannequin foot. But yeah, all it requires is this base, and then a lot of people run this mirror style. <laughs> this one has a Mugen Gen 2 wing. Black SC37Ks. It's the next Miracle X-Bar. <laughs> what do we got going on in here? Personal steering wheel. Mugen bezel. Oh, shift now. Oh, that type R interior. Yeah, but this car looks fantastic. This is another really solid looking DC2. 
Integra Type R, 96 spec. No, this one has a sunroof, so it is a SI with a Type R conversion. But Polish Mugen M7s, look at that. Bright clearance with the spoon calipers. It's always nice to see, nice tight fit. Pause. Black ITR Recaros. These are really hard to find now. I've been trying to find a set for a homie's car back in the US and they're like next to impossible to find. Even got scammed at one point, but that's a story for another time. The spoon steering wheel. No rear seats. Oh yeah, this is definitely has gray interior originally, so SIV tech model. Oh. NWP for life sticker. A nerds and coffee plate frame, so he must be a friend of Takeshi's. Shout out to him. Oh. I haven't seen him in a while. It's a FA5 imported sedan. <laughs> a DC5 that Masa built from X Point. Has my ugly signature on here. <laughs> Apologize to the guy that asked me to sign it because it was a terrible job. It's kind of ruins the engine bay, but anyways. This is a Shen EP3. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is an imported EP3 actually, so it gets high. And it has the shifter conversion. He mounted the shifter to the floor here. <laughs> and then got rid of that whole section there, which is really cool. Kind of makes the car look more normal, I guess you can say. EP3s are anything but normal. Cusco rear cage. No rear seat. Who's Cusco? Safety 21. One of those two, but it's been paint matched. The SC37Ks on here too. But yeah, imported EP3. You think you've seen it all. It's a really nice EK4 SIR. Spoon lip, 15 inch CEs, four lug extended lug nuts, and I mean extended studs, and uh, refinished spoon calipers. Looks nice in this faint silver bluish color. Some spoon mirrors. Red seats. Oh, full cage. Full bolt-in cage? Not through the dash though. Got a NDF Tanita steering wheel. Let's got the EK4 cluster on there. Spoon wing. Spoon exhaust. The VTEC Club sticker. Chronicle sticker. The best of the best on this car. Very nice. This is definitely a car you would see roaming around the streets of Southern California. As is this white one over here. It's another EK4 SIR. Spoon lip, spoon brakes, 15 inch TEs. Visual Automart sticker. Shout out to Yodes John. Oh wow, look at these black Recaros in here. Blue logo? Interesting, huh? Interesting choice of um, reupholstered door panels, it's screwed in place. That Momo wheel, Blade Sports horn button, SI cluster, US SI cluster. Wow, rear seats, and it has a Mugen mid wing and Mugen SIR rear lip. It's kind of weird because it throws off the front now. Kind of doesn't seat the front and back. But nonetheless, great looking car. Hmm, spoon front, Mugen rear. Huh? EK9 right here. First molding front lip, custom blue Enki NT03s. 
lower to perfection car. Got moving S1 bucket seats in here too. Nice, glad I was able to show you guys so much of these cars. DM bottom and ITR top. Another interesting car here. <laughs> kind of cool actually. Does it flow? Sure it does. A little bit. Except for the PCI side skirts. But I think I just have a personal vendetta against those things. <laughs> but yeah, this car is fully repainted. The Rigamasters. It's a really nice car. And they did a really good job on this mishmash here just makes the car look kind of like a CD Accord. It's a pretty good turnout here. Very chill, very um, relaxed mood, I guess you can say. They do a good job of bringing that USDM Honda meat vibe, I guess. I always see this car here. And everywhere in Japan, it is a full Mugen DA6. DA6, I think? Let's see. DA9. This is like one of the first cars that I've seen here in Japan back in the day that had a full shaped bay. It has all legit Mugen stuff. Oh wow. Even that, huh? Maybe again, front bumper, side skirts, rear, wing, everything. And especially the wheels. They're custom rebarreled CF48s. Another one of the, the first here in Japan that I saw. This car has actually held together pretty well over the years. It's been around for a very long time. Very, very long time. As long as I've been coming to Japan, this car has existed. So it's at least 10 years old. Oh, I should show you Masa's four door EK. They're a super weird car. But Masa likes really weird things. So he took a single cam EK3 or something. EK, whatever sedan, he cut the ass off of it and then. He put a hatchback rear end on it. Very uh, USDM. More like uh, Riverside? <laughs> but yeah. This is so weird. Two red seats. Door panels don't match. New Anki PF06 wheels. Looks like uh, somebody said and got their ass cut off. The headliner for this meet is Kobayashi's Integra GSR. Imported GSR. This one, Week Fest Japan car of the festival a few weeks ago. And here it is on display inside this custom container garage. They elevated it so you can see the underside of it. Safe to say that he doesn't drive this car very often. It's on air suspension. That's HREs. Rare to see four lug three piece HRE wheels. Stock tech brakes. These fancy Recaro seats in here. Sorry, literally had to throw the camera into the ice chest because it was overheating. But anyways, more of Kobayashi's GSR. It's touted as the ultimate GSR here in Japan. <laughs> it's 
K-series setup. Our crew header. No, oh, everything's super clean. Car looks brand new. Oil breather setup. CT engineering supercharger. 90 millimeter K2 throttle body. Hmm. Coil red radiator that's been converted to AN fittings. Passport mounts. Swirl pot here. Checkered sports fuel rail. A quick vent oil breather setup. Beautiful build. Very show car show winning quality car build. Super complete. See the header under there. Suspension arms, PCI stuff. Pretty normal for us, I would say, but here it's unique to see. But yeah, probably gonna take home an award today too. Thank you. Yeah, so you can check out this B16B setup in here. CTR motor, all sport mounts, polished skunk 2 intake manifold. It's running Link ECU, I saw. It's a Maxim Works header, skunk 2 radiator. I like this old Vision strut tower bar too. Yeah, it has a coilover plug set up here, you can see. Got a little air duct action that runs from here to here. Super clean. I like that he painted the interior gray too. Very traditional setup. Looks like he has like a Cusco catch can right here. Hmm. Got these APs. I think I showed you guys that earlier already. Hmm. No glass top here. Oh, it's gone these guys away. By the looks of it, looks like he drives this car quite a bit actually. Some light wear and tear on it, which is really cool. It's always nice to see when guys drive their cars. Can I open? Thank you. The interior. The Mugen steering wheel 3. Digital display here. Uh, Mugen MS... Uh, MSZ seats? MSZ, I think they are. <laughs> but yeah, you can see everything's been painted. Bolt in cage. All welded, no carpet. Mugen pedal set. Dude, this thing is amazing. Yeah, such a good build. 
Definitely my favorite here. Door panels, interior, whatever interior pieces are left appear to be in pretty good shape, like the dashboard and everything. Overall, just a very thorough, detailed build. I can't turn, it's too low. Now you guys can finally hear the carbureted B18C. Yeah, we got LED bulbs in there. So you guys are seeing the flickering, but in real life, it's actually not flashing like that. like a Honda Beat on air suspension. I think those things would be light enough where you can just pick those things up. Mm -hmm. the, the blue wheels maybe don't work with it that well, but yeah. Nice color. Good parts too. Sergeant rear lip. Yeah, bronze is probably works the best, yeah. I think this cage is also like gold, I think, you know. Yeah, white wheels work, silver, bronze, just not blue. So red, white, and blue. That's how USDM these guys are. There's a Hasback photo shoot going on right now, even though none of these guys know what sun from Hasback looks like. Well, that's a wrap on this trip. It's been a fun 30 days here in Japan. Got to experience a lot of new things, got to see some new stuff with good friends. It's always fun here. Can't complain about ever being in Japan, but um, honestly, I've spent half of the year here already. It's been 144 days. I've been in Japan for 70 of them. So it's time to get back home and uh, resume my life in America, I guess you could say. I got a big Advan drop coming out some events coming up. I gotta go to Seattle actually the next week already. So not a lot of sleeping in my own bed coming up. Uh, lots of week fest events. There's, there's a lot happening. So excited to get back home, eat some American food, watch some TV, catch up on all my TV shows and you know, come back to Japan next year. It's been fun, thanks for watching and uh, I'm out of here. <laughs>